Oh, I forgot to hold. It is 34 degrees in Georgia, which is pretty cold. But happy new year, everybody. Uh, it's 2018. With that being said, I'm gonna start off the year by making the coolest, dopest vlog ever. And what I'm gonna aim to do is, in 2018, every video, every vlog I do is gonna be dope. So dope transitions, dope edits, and just, Nothing, just nothing boring. Everything's gonna be dope. And 2018 is gonna be exciting because John's getting his truck lifted. Uh, it is gonna get the McGoy's uh, seven to nine inch lift kit. And we are going to put, I do believe we're gonna set it around eight to nine. And he is gonna go with McGoy's upper control arms, McGoy's everything. And we're thinking about powder coating that like cherry red. So it's, it's gonna be sick. He's gonna put his 20 by 12 uh, fuel uh, Mavericks, it's two piece, and it's, it has a chrome insert inside, so it's gonna look awesome. I am extremely jealous, but I got plenty of plenty of stuff for my Duramax as well. So make sure, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe, and hit that little, uh, hit that little bell. It's gonna make a really cool sound when you click on it. Okay, I'm just kidding, it didn't make any sound, but make sure you click on it, because it's gonna let you know whenever I post my videos. But right now, we're gonna go eat some Waffle House with good old Johnny Boy. My camera's sliding everywhere. I was gonna park right here, but this pistol grip chin ass is hogging this freaking parking spot. Man, this guy. This little pistol grip chin ass. There you go, man. There you go. There you go. I'm trying to help you out, buddy. All right, headed over to the lake. I chose the absolutely the worst day to go because it is 33 degrees. I know it's not that cold for most of you guys from the north. Uh, every time I talk about how cold it is, all of you guys that are from like the north comment, Oh, it was negative 14 degrees here. But I'm just saying, for where I live, it's pretty cold because it's 30 degrees. And it usually doesn't get this cold, especially during the daytime. With that being said, I'm going to the lake where it's gonna be really windy, but I'm doing it for you guys. It's 2018, about to make some dope videos. One thing I wanna clarify something is that I know I was supposed to get like a smoke tune on this truck, but that was only if I got 12,000 subscribers by Christmas, which did happen. And so I just went with the PPEI Corey Willis tune because that was just something that was recommended by a lot of people. And I personally didn't want to get a smoke tune. I was only willing to do it if I got you know 12,000 subscribers by a Christmas, like which was a goal. So I just went with like a very safe, most efficient tune that that's out there. Uh, so, but I do want to. <clears throat> but I do want to clarify that it, yeah, it doesn't roll coal, but it does blow. It does blow a lot of smoke. So um, I know I know rolling coal is like really frowned upon, but at the end of the day, let's be honest, guys. It's really it's kind of cool like having a diesel and being able to blow out black smoke, uh, at least just a little bit. So I just want to show you guys how much smoke the Sturmax blows now after the PPEI tune. And uh, I'm still on optimized stock tune, so like number one. And so it's, it's not gonna do that much, but I wanna show you guys what it would be like if you were to just go with a single tune, just to optimize stock tune. Because I mean, some people, not everybody needs, you know, five tunes. So if you're looking to get the most efficient tune and, you know, have a little bit of fun and thinking about get going with this, but just to optimize stock, 
Yeah, I'll show you guys, you know, how much smoke it blows. But I don't know if you saw my previous video. Me, uh, it's the one where I went to Virginia. If you haven't already, make sure you go check it out. But in that video, I talked about how I was getting 17.2, 17, I was getting 17.5 miles per gallon going up there. And I was going about 65 the whole time. And then coming back home, I was going about 70. And I was getting around 17 miles per gallon on the, on the whole way. So that's pretty impressive considering the fact that I'm on stock gears and I'm also running 37 inch tires with negative 44 offset. So I was pretty impressed by it because I was usually getting like 14, 13 and a half on the interstate before. So that's a pretty big improvement. Dude, why are you gonna pull out in front of me and just go 40 the whole time? Like really? Was it necessary for you to pull out in front of me? I found one of the coolest places to take a picture. You can see the dam in the back. It's a pretty damn good picture. Uh, it is freezing out here. But I'm gonna show you guys just how much smoke this blows uh, with the PPEI tune. As you can see, it blows a decent amount of smoke. Not too bad, huh? I was gonna get this cinematic drone shot going over this dam over there, or going over this bridge, or, or the dam. But I just uh, ran my drone into a tree, so the one of the propellers are broken, and I am not trying to fly my drone over a, you know, a dam right now when the propel one of the propellers isn't working. And I just tried to like fly it over here, and it was kind of shady, so I'm not risking my drone. I'll do that next time, but to make up for it, I will send it through this puddle. It's a little dirty now. I hope you guys are happy. Let me go through it one more time. There you go. I really hope you guys are happy now. She's still a pavement princess though. Now she's a little dirty. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it's a pretty, pretty sick beginning to a 2013 year. If you wanna see more of this Dirty Max, make sure to hit that subscribe button and please give this video a thumbs up for me taking it off road finally. And uh, stick around, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.